Good morning, everybody. The committee meets today to consider the ballistic missile defense programs and budget requests of the Department of Defense. And we're pleased today to have a distinguished panel of witnesses. Uh, Bill Lynn, the Deputy Secretary of Defense, General James Cartwright, Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Lieutenant General Patrick O'Reilly, the Director of the Missile Defense Agency, we welcome you all. We thank you for your long service to this nation. On April 6th, Secretary of Defense Gates, along with General Cartwright, announced a number of his recommendations for the fiscal year 2010 defense budget. These recommendations included changes to missile defense programs, and all were included in the President's budget request that's now before the Congress. These changes included an increased focus on regional missile defense against existing short and medium range ballistic missiles that currently can reach our forward based forces and allies. Secretary Gates announced that the Department would add $700 million to field, quote, more of our most capable theater missile defense system, specifically the terminal high-altitude area defense, that and the standard missile three programs. Now, that's a welcome and important change of emphasis and one that is consistent with the actions of this committee and Congress in years past, which have focused on missile defense against short and, and medium-range missile threats. It also reflects the analysis of the Joint Staff that our regional combatant commanders need many more THAAD and standard, three, standard missile three interceptors to meet our inventory requirements for their operational needs. For instance, the report of this committee last year accompanying the Defense Authorization Act made the point clearly, quote, the committee notes that the Joint Capabilities Mix, JCM, study conducted by the Joint Staff concluded that U.S. combatant commanders need about twice as many SM-3 and THAAD interceptors as currently planned to meet just their minimum operational requirements for defending against the many hundreds of existing short and medium range ballistic missiles. The committee is deeply disappointed, we wrote, that the Missile Defense Agency has not planned or budgeted to acquire more than a fraction of the SM-3 interceptors needed to meet the warfighter's minimum operational needs, close quote. And the report accompanying last year's National Defense Authorization Act conference report had a similar direction to the agency. Quote, we are deeply disappointed that the Department of Defense has not planned or budgeted for even this minimum requirement and believe that achieving at least this minimum inventory should be the highest priority for the Missile Defense Agency. We expect the Department of Defense to budget accordingly, starting with the budget submission for fiscal year 2010. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, the Department has done exactly that in its budget request. It did what Congress legislated last year. The budget request before us would increase our missile defense capabilities significantly against the preponderance of the missile threats that we face today. Secretary Gates has also announced several other changes to the missile defense program. These include a decision excuse me, let me repeat this. Secretary Gates also announced several other changes to the missile defense program. These include a decision to cap the deployment of the ground-based mid-course defense system, the GMD, in Alaska and California at 30 interceptors, and to focus on further development and robust testing to improve the capability of this system to defend against the limited missile threat to our country from nations such as North Korea. Under the budget request, the Department would continue to buy all 44 interceptors, but with 14 of these planned for testing or for spares. To, to illustrate the point about needing to improve GMD capability, the Director of Operational Test and Evaluation reported in December 
four years after the system was initially deployed, that, quote, GMD flight testing to date will not support with a high degree of confidence in its limited capabilities. Secretary Gates's decision on the GMD program is of major significance and of great interest to Congress. I hope our witnesses will explain how the Department came to this decision and their view of how it meets our security needs. I also hope that they'll explain how the Department plans to improve the capability of the system, including through robust and operationally realistic testing, and how it plans to sustain the system throughout its operational life. This is an important and a complex topic. I believe it would benefit our security if we could be unified on this issue, and I think such unity is possible, since I believe there is common ground on the need to have operationally effective and cost-effective missile defense systems. I'll put the balance of my statement in the record and call upon Senator McCain.